Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say a big thank you uh, <laughs> for allowing uh, the Arkansas Real Estate Commission and uh, Heather Henry's uh, director offered here today and for the opportunity to, uh, to answer some of these very good questions provided by the GRLA group and how supportive we are of the GRLA and all the things that ARA does to try to help educate and this is a part of that and we are just so excited to uh, play some small role in the partnership of making sure that we help consumers. So thank you very much. Can one brokerage share another brokerage's listing what are the limitations on deceiving to make it look like your own or including the agent's name? The first part of my answer has to do with whether or not an agent has permission to advertise a listing. Do they have permission of the listing agent and broker? And do they have permission of the seller to advertise that property? Are they using a agent's listing on social media and simply changing out the name to make it look like it is their listing? Are they actually just sharing a listing agent's post? So a broker who is supervising their agents in terms of advertising needs to make sure that agents are properly sharing information. They are not attempting to make another agent's listing look like their own listing and that they are sharing information with the appropriate permissions. Simply because a seller states that they want their property advertised online does not mean that every agent with an Arkansas license has that, that seller's permission to advertise their property separately. In the area of advertising, if there's a 10.5 violation, rule 10.5, involving marketing, how should it be reported and how can we be sure it's being investigated? So if there's a 10.5 violation or if, if you see something that you suspect might not be in alignment with 10.5, you can actually email that in to us um, and we'll take a look at it. You don't necessarily have to file a formal complaint. Uh, we'll take a look at it and in some cases it really is as simple as us reaching out to the principal broker and saying, hey, there might be an issue with this. Would you take a look at it and ask your agent to, um, to straighten it up? I will tell you, when I read this question, my first thought was, why is it always 10.5? When I'm asked to speak at different events throughout the state, that's one of the top things that I'm asked to speak on. You heard Heather earlier talk about the three top complaints that we have. You heard Chairman Moore talk about the greatest challenge that we're facing in real estate. Advertising was nowhere in there. We know for a fact that there are far more egregious things happening in real estate on a daily basis. You see them on a more up close and personal basis than, than we do here at the commission. And those are the things that we need to know are happening so that we can help prevent them. There may be things that are happening in the industry that if we could promulgate some clarifying rules, we could help mitigate some of the harm that they pose to the public. So I just encourage you to think about that as you, as you see that next Facebook post and you think, oh gosh, that doesn't look like it complies. Take that mindset and turn it inward and apply it to everything you do throughout the course of your business day and see what bubbles up to the surface and report back because I'd love to know.